click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, our new function or new graph is real exponential functions. Real means the uh, values of this function is always a real, not a complex one. And the exponential means the graph will be exponential. There are two types of exponential graph and it is totally depends on the value of time t. Now, let's say the function of exponential will be represented is like the x of t is equals to e to the power minus t. Now, I am not going to write the time period because you can plot this graph from minus infinity to the plus infinity also as well as if you want then you can use a time scales like you can plot this graph from minus infinity to 0 or from 0 to infinity also as well as for limited period also you can plot this graph but basic important thing is how this graph is drawn or plotted. So let's see. Oh, for t, I am going to substitute the values of t from minus infinity to the plus infinity and according to that I will draw the plot for x of t. So first of all I will substitute minus infinity which is the extreme level of negative side. Now we are going to substitute values of this t. We will substitute these values of t from minus infinity to plus infinity. These are the extreme values of left rightmost side and the rightmost side. So, we will substitute the values of t one by one. First of all, the leftmost side is minus infinity. So, for t is equals to minus infinity. If I substitute t equals to minus infinity, then what will happen? This function will produce e to the power minus of minus infinity and will give infinity. And for e to the power infinity is always infinity. Means what? For leftmost value, this t value is gives infinite value. So this will be the infinite position. Now for t equals to zero, let's substitute t equals to zero. If I substitute t equals to zero, then what will happen? This e to the power function will becomes 0 and e to the power v0 is always 1. So let's say this is the value or position of amplitude 1. Now we'll substitute t equals to my infinity. If I substitute t equals to infinity then this amplitude will becomes t will be replaced by infinity. So this is going to be minus infinity and we know that e to the power minus infinity is 0. Means what? At t is for infinity or at the right extreme position the amplitude becomes 0. So, I will connect these points and this graph exponentially goes on decreasing. So, this graph is also called as decaying exponential. Now, one more plot is there which is rising exponential then what will be the function or how this function is represented. Let's see. Now the next function or next type is for rising function. Rising function means what? Right now I will take x of t is having e to the power plus t. Plus t means the sine of t is positive. Now also same here, I am not going to write the time period. So you can plot this graph from minus infinity that is leftmost position to plus infinity that is rightmost position. So what will be the representation or how it looks? Now we will substitute the values of t one by one. Let us substitute the rightmost value of t that is for t equals to infinity, if I substitute t equals to infinity, then this e to the power, this t value becomes infinity and we know that e to the power infinity is always infinity, which means 
at infinite place dt value is also having some infinite value similarly i'll substitute t equals to 0 so at t equals to 0 e to the power z t e to the power the t this t position will replace by 0 so e to the power 0 is nothing but 1 so let's say this is the position of 1 now we we'll substitute the leftmost or extreme position of left side that is t equals to minus infinity for minus infinity e to the power minus infinity becomes we know that zero zero means at leftmost position your graph will reach at zero approximately so we'll connect all these points so this graph is a rising exponential why this graph is rising exponential reason is from minus infinity to infinity your graph is continuously varying or increasing its amplitude that's why the name is given rising exponential and in previous graph what we have mentioned the decaying exponential means what from minus infinity to infinity if we move from minus infinity to infinity your amplitude is continuously goes on decreasing that's why the name is given decaying exponential now in both the cases you have seen the amplitude of e or sorry the e to the power value which is a t in first case we have placed e to the power minus t and in next case we have placed e to the power plus t so you can sum up both the values so we can write this a real exponential function it's like so you can write here or you can take here t value negative also or you can take here t value positive also because mod will absorb the sign so you can write or you can draw the real exponential function by taking this function also just we have to assume or we have to consider this t value if you want to take t value negative then graph will be decaying and if you want to take t value positive then the graph will be rising potential thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and subscribe ekida for next future videos